Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I will be talking about Poisson distribution. The Poisson distribution is a discrete distribution. Use this distribution to describe the number of times an event occurs in a finite observation space. The Poisson distribution can describe the number of defects in the mechanical system of an airplane in an hour, or the number of calls to the call center in an hour, or the number of people visit our YouTube channel per hour. In fact, any random phenomenon that occurs on a per unit basis, it could be per unit area, per unit volume, per unit time, is often well approximated by Poisson distribution. The Poisson distribution is specified by one parameter, lambda, and is defined with this formula. Note that the mean and variance of Poisson distribution are both equal to the parameter lambda. A variable follows a Poisson distribution if the following conditions are met. Data are counts of events, non-negative integers with no upper bound. The number of defects in mechanical system of an airplane in an hour could be 5, 10, or even 100. There is no upper bound. The number of calls to the call center in an hour could be 5, could be 10, it could be 100. The number of people visit our website per hour, it could be 5, 10, or 200 per hour. All events are independent. The current visit to our websites is independent from the next visit. The call to the call center is independent from the previous one. And finally, the average rate doesn't change over the period of interest. The probability plot for lambda equals to 4 look like this. As you can see, the distribution is skewed. It has a long tail to the right. It's a right skewed distribution. Several Poisson distributions are plotted here. As the parameter lambda becomes larger, the Poisson distribution becomes symmetric in appearance. So, for large values of lambda, we can use normal distribution with the mean lambda and variance lambda to approximate the Poisson distribution. Note that the distribution is right skewed for a smaller number of lambda. The question here is how to calculate the rate of occurrence for Poisson distribution. For example, switchboard A receives 80 telephone calls in 5 hours. And switchboard B receives 80 calls in 10 hours. You cannot directly compare these values because their observation spaces are different you must calculate the occurrence rate to compare these counts. The rate for switchboard A is 80 calls divided by 5 hours. It's 16 calls per hour. The rate for switchboard B is 80 calls in 10 hours. So 8 calls per hour. The Poisson distribution is similar to the binomial distribution because they both model counts of events. The Poisson distribution places no upper bound on this count. A switchboard could receive an unlimited number of calls in a day and not violate Poisson distribution requirements. But the binomial distribution does set an upper limit on the count. The number of events you observe cannot be greater than the number of trials you perform. Suppose the number of wire bonding defects per unit that occur in semiconductor device is Poisson distributed with the mean 4. What is the probability that a randomly selected semiconductor device 
will contain two or fewer wire bonding defects. To solve this problem, we need to plug in lambda equal to 4 in this equation. And x value could be 0, 1, and 2. And then add them up. Or we can easily use Minitab to calculate this. Go to Graph menu and then select Probability Distribution function. And then select Poisson Distribution and enter 4 for lambda. Then go to the shaded area, select X and select left tail, since we are looking for two or less wire bonding defects. And enter 2 for X value and hit OK. Here is the result. There is 23.8% chance that semiconductor device will contain two or fewer wire bonding defects. Okay, let's solve this example in MATLAB. The question A is, what is the probability that a randomly selected semiconductor device will contain two or fewer defects? To answer this question, we need to use Poisson cumulative distribution function. The first argument is for two or fewer defects, and the second argument is the rate parameter lambda. The answer is 23.8%. The question B is, what is the probability that a randomly selected semiconductor device will contain three or more defects? To answer this question, we have to use cumulative distribution function again. Three or more defects is equal to one, the total probability, minus the two or fewer probabilities. And the probability is 76.1%. The question C is, what is the probability that a randomly selected semiconductor device will contain two wire bonding defects? To answer this question, we can use probability distribution function. The answer is 14.6%. All right. In this video, we covered the Poisson distribution. In the next video, we are going to talk about other important discrete and continuous distribution. Thanks for watching. We are going to release video series on different topics, including application of statistics in manufacturing and quality control, robotics and mechatronics, industrial machine vision, system dynamics, finite element analysis with abacus, GDNT and tolerance analysis, and many other interesting topics. Don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel to get notified when a new video on these topics is released.